Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a natural nappy cream. Now let's get into it. Now, firstly, you want to make a water and oil emulsion here because we want to make a protective barrier uh, for the skin. So we're going to use a water and oil emulsion. I've got my water phase and my oil phase here. And I've also got my heat sensitive materials here. Okay, so we're going to combine our water phase all together. So I've got my preservative here. I've chosen uh, Spectra Strat G2 Natural. And here I have some glycerin. This is going to help create a nice protective barrier on the skin. It's going to be nice and moisturizing. going to pop that on here. Next I'm going to combine my oil phase. So I'm going to use some glycerol stearate as one of my emulsifiers. I'm also going to use some Arla Cell 1690 as my other emulsifier just to make sure it's nice and stable. And I'm also going to add a bit of beeswax for some this extra viscosity. Next is my lipids. So you want to choose some light feeling esters or light feeling lipids because you don't want the baby to become slippery and you also don't want to mark their clothes. So I've chosen to use some Dermaphil Sensol. This is a nice naturally derived silicon alternative. This is going to give it a nice light feeling. And already that was in my bowl. It was some Miratil 318. And I'm also going to add a little bit of some pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil is really good for dry skin. And I'm going to pop that on the heat as well. Now, once both phases are heated to about 75 degrees, I'm going to add my water phase to my oil phase. I'm going to give that a stir using high shear and you'll start to see a nice white glossy emulsion form. Once that's formed, take it off to heat. And then we're going to allow it to cool to below 40 degrees before we add our heat sensitive materials. So I'm going to keep stirring until it cools. Now, once it is cool, we're going to add our heat sensitive materials. So I'm going to add some tocopherol to my emulsion as I have used some natural plant oils. This is going to help with oxidation. And now for my active, I'm going to add some allantoin. So this is going to help with creating that protective barrier for the nappy cream. It's also a really great anti-irritant. It's good to use in formulas like this or if you're including actives in a formula. Give that a stir. Now, full viscosity isn't going to be achieved till the next day. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this and leave it overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow when it's a nice thick emulsion. Okay, so it's the next day and you can see that this nice beautiful viscous cream has formed. Really nice viscosity. When you apply it, it's like a really nice skin feel, not too greasy, but also very moisturizing. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you get all the notifications for all our videos. Happy formulating.